What's up, guys? It's your boy, Paul, and I am back with you. I've got another book review, and this one is on A Week in the Life of a Roman Centurion. So A Week in the Life of a Roman Centurion is written by Gary Berg, and he is a New Testament professor at Wheaton College, and he's wrote a couple of books. Um, I think one is called Jesus, the Middle Eastern Storyteller, um, also the 50 theological questions that uh, are most common and then another one called um, interpreting the gospel of john now this book here is a novel it's actually a story rather than some uh, theological understanding but in it there are theological uh, kernels that you could pick up As a matter of fact it really speaks to the culture and the time that uh, Jesus was in help us kind of understand and know a little bit more about the Greco-Roman era. The one thing that I like about this book that the author does and does a good job in it is he talks a little bit about certain things that are cultural within that context and that time frame to help the reader understand what that life would be like at that time. There's just little sections just picked out through it. I think one of them talked about the Havarim, uh, which is a, a thing that the Jewish people gathered together, went over the law, talked about the law, and ate a meal together and just rejoiced and sang hymns. And so that gives you a little bit of understanding of maybe what was happening when Jesus was going into these houses and speaking with them. It was the Havarim where they were actually exegeting scripture and then and then interpreting scripture and then talking about scripture. So it sheds a light onto the practices that we see in the Bible that we just take for granted as understanding what it is. And that's the beauty of this book. Another thing that's awesome about this book is just the story itself, the way in which it tells it. And it always connects it to a specific story either in the Bible or just an understanding of all the characters that are in the Bible and gives it a presentation of what it might be like. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not scripture, so if you read it, don't just assume that, oh, this this really happened, because it, it didn't. It's just an interpretation or an understanding of the culture, the time, what scripture is said, and then it embellishes on it a bit. But the way it does it just brings a, uh, a, a new vision of what it would look like to be in that time. I remember when I started reading the end of the book, my heart just started swelling because I knew the story that had come from all this, the background that we got all the way up to the story that uh, was in the Bible. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> so it's really fulfilling when you read this book. It's a great book, and it's an easy read, too. It's not super hard to get into. He has a great catch. Uh, he gives a great catch, and, and you get hooked into it really quickly because of the people and the uh, things that are happening around it, you know. So he's a great writer. He he, he writes well. And it's at a, um, I'd say, a, a lower level of reading. So uh, junior high to high school. So a lot of people can read this book. So it may be something that you could uh, uh, give to your kid if you're older and, and you want them to start reading or understanding the Bible a little bit more and the culture and the context in. That's something that they could read, they could pick up, find out more about that time frame, and then as well uh, be able to learn a little bit of insight about what Jesus was doing or the people around him, how they felt about this. Another thing that this does, not only does it um, teach you about the culture, easy read, great book, but it also uh, shows you just a little bit of revelation that you can have in understanding the scriptures as you read through it. Uh, he does research to know this, um, the things that are happening, and so because when you read it and you see it, you get echoes from the scripture that teaches you a little bit about the mind frame that these uh, guys were having during that period of time in first century uh, Greco-Roman or first century Judaism. And so for that, it's really good. Um, I think that this is a great read and that you should check it out. And if you haven't checked it out, then uh, I'm actually got an affiliate partnership with Amazon. And so you can go down to the uh, description and click that link and buy the book. So uh, it doesn't cost any more for you. It just helps me a little bit out, and I'd appreciate it. If you wanted to buy the book, you thought it was good, which I think it is a yes. Yes, yes, yes. You should get this book because it's such a fast read, and it's such a fun book, man. There was a part that I just was like, oh, man, it got all intense. Like, what's going to happen? What, what's going to go on? Because there's a fight scene that goes on, it, and it, you get to actually see it or read it, and it, 
a good picture in your mind. So if you want to check out this book, check out that link below, man. I appreciate it. This has been another book review, and I'll have more for you. So thanks for watching. Paul from Pauline Theology.